Hey. Hey. Hi. Thank you for doing this. We have uh, William Hong from American Idol. Um, it's an honor to have you. I'm a big fan of yours. Um, yes. Thanks for doing this, William. No problem. Um, so firstly, I just wanted to uh, get some background information on like maybe your life uh, before American Idol and then what led up to American Idol. Yes, um, I won the talent show at UC Berkeley mm -hmm. uh, when I was studying for civil engineering. Uh, and it was the same song, She Bangs by Ricky Martin. So I that's what it. gave me the confidence to audition. Yes. Okay. And then where are you originally from? I'm originally from Hong Kong. There you go. There you go. And then um, did you uh, have any siblings growing up, brothers or sisters? I'm the only child. Oh, okay. So, um, I must have watched your audition tape a thousand times. Uh, <laughs> it's, it was, it's probably the, one of the most entertaining pieces of uh, video ever uh, recorded in history. Uh, what was that process like before stepping into that audition room for American Idol? Um, it was one of the most nerve wracking moments in my life. <laughs> yeah. And what was the waiting uh, period like? How long did you have to wait? To, to go in the room? It was like two hours long, but uh, but it, uh, actually it wasn't that bad because many people had to wait way longer than that. So yeah, I was very fortunate. Oh, wow. And then um, when when you got past, so you, you did get past to Hollywood, right? Uh, no, I didn't, never made it. Oh, you never, okay, okay, that, that's right. You never made it, but but you were so entertaining that they they they, they, they included you, right, back? Y yes, yes, they, they they included my my audition clip, and then, and who knew, right? Because just because they, they broadcast your clip doesn't mean that you get anything out of it. But for some reason, my clip went viral, yeah, especially went viral. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So was that was that the first time a video like that went viral for you personally? Yeah, of course. And there's no way for me to predict that. Yeah, and then how did your uh, folks react to that? Well, um, they were surprised, and I, like like people that knew me is like, "Wow, what what is going on there?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then so um, what opportunities happened? I mean, that must have opened a lot of doors for you, right? After. Yeah, it's it's uh the biggest. Uh, life-changing moment um, for the audition is when I got the record contract from Koch Records. Uh, it was a $25,000 record contract. Uh, and that's how everything started. I got a lot of invites to do like live performances and commercials after that. Wow. And then, yeah, my life changed forever. So, so the, the the record contract how many uh, so was it a like a one album two album three album deal how did that work out um like, it's a it's supposed to be more like five albums but they put out three albums and then the other two we we have I, you know i don't know when it's gonna come out uh right now it's very unlikely uh but you know we, we never know because they they still don't want to terminate the contract yet so it's okay so you're still on contract with Koch records yes that is correct um, where could folks um, download or, or, or get that music? Uh, the easiest way is just go to Apple Store. Uh, I, know, I know they have it. Oh, the iTunes uh, Store? iTunes, yeah. But you can just find a, uh, a free version on YouTube now. Okay, and then, uh, and then what did you, uh, is it, uh, what type of style music? Is it cover songs? Is it Mostly covers, music? a few original songs here and there, yeah. Wow. And then, so did they provide a recording studio for that process? Yes, I did. Wow. So, well, I mean, so that, how long is that contract? That might, that's years then. Yeah. They're basing it on, I don't, I don't even know if the contract is still valid after so many years. Um, yeah. Uh, that's, but, but, uh, but technically like they, they, they wanted to do it by the number of albums. Uh, and obviously it's, it's based on like, 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 you know, the conditions of the market. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's not within my control. So, you know, in life, you can only focus on what you can control. Right, right, right. So, so, but three are completed. Correct. Oh, that's so awesome. And yeah, so that's still more, more than I ever thought. Yeah. Like, so you said you had uh, commercial opportunities as well? Yes. The biggest ones I did were for at and and Jack in the Box. And then they were uh, regional or uh, national commercials? National national commercials and then so you must have made a, a a good amount of money doing that 
I'm very grateful, you know, like, yeah. like, like I, I used the money to pay off the debt for my parents. And you know, we, we, we all now live much better life than before. Oh, wow. And then, so how long have you been, you mentioned you live in Los Angeles, right? Yeah. Over 20 years. Over 20 years. Okay. That's so cool. And then, so, um, so tell me more about some, some more opportunities that, 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 that spawned after that. So commercials record deal. And then yeah. what else did you do after that? Um, primarily like live performances all over the, the world. Um, so I would, so I, I would get a lot of invites to perform at big stadiums, big events, big, big com business conferences. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Can you, can you, uh, can you maybe talk about some more of the memorable ones, uh, as far as these gigs? Yeah, the more, the most memorable ones were where I traveled to places like Singapore, Iceland, Malta is that, that that's I, I I would never thought that I would go in there as a celebrity, but you are and yeah. you did you are yeah. and, you, and you did yes okay yeah um and I'm you most likely have still a cult following I, I'm presuming yes I do right yeah that's awesome man so what was it like going to Iceland I I, I mean that must have been a trip. You know? Yeah, it was it was amazing. Um, it, I went there during the winter. I wish I could go during the summer, but but still, I enjoy a, a really cool, amazing food, drinks, um, the the history. Like I I went to the Vikings Museum with the with the tour guide there. It it was great. Um, it was uh, it once in a lifetime. Yeah. So did they? So who are these? How did they get your information? And like, did you go? Do you have an? Are you rep by an agency? Did they have to contact your manager? How did that work? Um, so, so technically, my parents were my agents because I I couldn't find anybody uh, 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 great during that time. Yeah. And uh, and then and then the and then the way I um I would say that that my one of my blessings was because my email was easy for people to guess. Uh, it, it was a Berkeley email. Oh right 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 right. So um so. So you got business seminars and conferences as well. So yeah, that, was that weird performing like that at a business conference? It, it, um, you know, it just depends on what they're looking for. I mean, obviously, when they bring me in, they want entertainment. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. probably uh, it's it, they had a they probably had like long days. It's like it's it's kind of t boring and dry, and they yeah. want me to make it fun for them. So yeah, I'm I'm happy to do that. So what, what was the setup like? It would be like in a ballroom at like a hotel or something? Yeah, like yeah, that? yes, exactly. Like like a big ballroom. Um, like like I, I, I've done the biggest ones, like global conferences. Oh, so, yeah. wow. I mean, that pay must have been tough. Uh, pretty now. good. Pretty good. Pretty happy. Pretty good, <laughs> right? Yeah. So um, are, are you still open to do events like that? Of course. I mean, but, of, but, but right now we are dealing with COVID. Uh, yeah, I know. So, right so now is not the best Unfortunately, yeah, no, yeah. I probably not gonna do any like agree to do any any live events, especially in the United States. It's just for safety. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but are are so how has COVID and the pandemic affected like what you're doing right now in your in your career? Well, I am very glad to uh, to uh, pivot into doing like cameos, like pers video uh, personal shout outs for people. And oh, so how do people reach um, contact you to do that through Cameo? Yeah, it's like an app. Uh, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a plat uh, centralized platform and people could request like short messages. Yeah, like happy birthday, birthday song, she yeah. bangs. Yes. So, so how often do you get hit up to do cameos? Every single day really yes every day and then you set your price range correct correct okay so if people watch this and they want to get a, a cameo from william hong how do they how do they do it they, just they go, go they go to the app they, they they type in my name they they will find me i, I am actually in the next uh very close to the top oh my god i, I mean in a million years, did you think that something like this, an opportunity would, would, would be available, something like Cameo? I'm, I'm talking about- No way, no way. No way, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, just like, it's just like everything happened naturally, you know? You can't ask for something like that, yeah. And they're probably just searching for you, like, no, I want William Hong. Yeah, that's right. And so what do you, do you, how, do you, how do you go about doing that? You just do it in your room? Yeah, I have I have I have my my um my personal uh bedroom that's set up you know with the lighting and everything so yeah yeah that's fine yeah yeah that's I mean fine. it is what it is yeah 
Now, do people ask for like extravagant like requests, like maybe you and your underwear or something? No, no. I, I mean, I mean, if it's if it's something inappropriate, then and I just I just de uh, decline and turn it down. Yeah. Uh, but 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 for the most part, you know, the 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 requests are very reasonable. That's so cool. So that's is the, so is that your prime um form of income? That's just like a side hustle, or is that for now. For no, now. no that's for now. It is my it, it, it is my main source of income. Yeah, and you and, get hit and, up and I'm every grateful. Day. You know, it, it, yeah, every day. Yeah, so every I'm grateful. <laughs> I take it. You know, because it, it, yeah, it, it, I would say it, it. I the whole um the whole cameo thing picked up after the pandemic. After people get stuck at home. Yeah, that's fantastic, brother. Good for you. Fantastic news. That's Thank awesome, you. man. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So um, I, I do you do motivational speaking as well? Yes. Let, yes, I do. That, I, how I, did I, that come about? I want to know about that story. Oh, of course. Yeah, um, so I started. Um, I'm doing public speaking like about eight years ago. Um, like like uh, after I got the government job. So for eight years, I was working for the government. Uh, but it wasn't the most exciting job. And ultimately, I feel like it's not like my overall life direction that I want to go. Like, I don't want to just hide behind my cubicle. So that's why I, I decided to quit my job again um, uh, earlier this year in January. And it was it, it was a roller coaster ride. You know, people, yeah. people think I have it easy. Every, everything is perfect. It's not. It's not even close. You know? yeah. like, like, like there were times when I thought like, oh, my God, what's going to happen to me? You know, do I have to go get another job again? Yeah. So what, um, so what, how do people book you? Um, how, how long do you speak and where do they book you? What type of um, establishments do, do, do you uh, do your speaking um, at? Uh, I would say mostly like, like um, corporations and as associations. Uh, but, but, uh, but because of the pandemic, obviously that, that also uh, stopped coming uh, because, yeah. be because before the pandemic, um, I would do, I, I would speak at a lot of live events um that, yeah. that, that and i enjoy it i love uh, meeting new people i love inspiring people in, in, the, in the big crowd you know, i love that um right. but 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 you know since since because this since COVID, what i have to do instead is just uh like virtual uh speaking events and you know th those are not the same <laughs> because, yeah. because 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 uh, man, many of those most of the events i speak for i don't get paid and and uh and some of the events i get i do get paid it's not gonna be that much you know it's just the right. way things are and, and that's okay. And that's, that's, okay, that's perfectly yeah. fine. Because many, many other famous people, they have, they also not realize that now is the time to show up, right? Now is the time to give back, right? At, at a difficult Absolutely. time. Absolutely. So it's a different way of looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I just thought of a brilliant idea. I don't know if you're, you're down to do this. So how do musicians... If they want to get a feature with you, I will because I, I do music. Like how 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 what is your rates to, to book you on a feature song? What do you like mean on a by hook that? for you to sing a hook or something? Um, it's hard to say. Um, I, I think it just depends on what, what the project that you're working towards. Um, that's why I'm not gonna I'm not comfortable with sharing like like a general price. Yeah. It depends on what you're using it for. <laughs> um, what if I'm just doing um I'm doing a rap album. Um, and I just, you know, I wanted to get you on a hook just for just a couple seconds, just repeating you singing. Um, you, 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 you might be better off just booking me on, on, on something like Celeb VM or Cameo. Um, okay, can you, can you shout that out again? Uh, so people, cause, cause there might be musicians and yeah. artists that might want, want your voice on here. their song. Here, here, here. Celeb VM. I think that's the best one because because so cameo. Celeb no, S, I mean C E L E B -E B M. That's correct. B M. Correct. If and the reason book, that yeah. And let me see, let me explain the reason why that one. I think I think it's because um cameo, uh you could use the video, but but they have a watermark. Uh, so so you so you might want to do the do, you might want to do try this one and see if that works if not you can always will always reach out to me i can make an individual deal with you um yeah uh, like, like i i i uh, way again the way i look at this is like i care about where you use it for how often you know that's more important to me right because oh, right right because because the chances are i cannot ask for like a lot right so right so it's so it's matters more like how you use it how you promote it yeah yeah 
Um, as far as like, um, as far as like, let, let's go back to music and like independent uh, musicians, like they would be right. using it just to, it's going to go on like music platforms or maybe in a music video or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I mean, it, it again. It dip, uh, like uh, the reason I don't, I don't, I don't generalize is because, like, for the most part, if I don't think, um, if for example, if you, if your song has a lot of profanity, your your people wear wear tattoos or, or tank tops, you know, that yeah. I probably don't even want to do it. You know, I just because that's not that's not that's not that doesn't align with my image. Oh my right, right, right. So so no profanity, and not yeah. too many tattoos. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying never, but I'm just saying like, like, like. So those will be some of the factors I consider. But you would most likely let 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 let's stay on that um subject matter. You most likely would do it for like maybe an R and B singer, like with a good, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You would do it like that. Yeah. And so I saw something on your Instagram, uh, where you do you you have a podcast or you interview people as well, right? That is correct. Um, right now, I'm 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 doing interviews on a platform called Livit. Let me type it in here. Yeah. L i v i t. Yeah. L i v i t. Uh, yes. It's a live. L i v i t. Livit. Yeah, it's a live streaming platform. So yeah, uh, so yeah, that, that's the reason I'm doing it right now is because I'm contracted with them. I'm I'm so so I get paid every month, you know, uh, to do this. So that's 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 why that's why I want to uh, keep the interviews there for right now. Okay, so um, how do you go about choosing who you're going to interview? Um, I typically want to choose people. Um, for now, uh, I, I'm not saying like like for the you know for it, it, for now. I would say maybe the next month or two. I I prefer people on the same platform. Maybe um, like I prefer other streamers on that platform. Yeah. And then you know I try to look for like 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 unsung heroes and new performers. Okay. Uh, bec and that's because of who I who I am as a person like, yeah. and what I went through because I knew that I know that that you know I was the underdog you know, yeah. and, and I got this I got this a lot of support I got the chance I got the big break when I needed it in the yeah. many years ago and, it, and that's why I, I I feel very good giving the spotlight to those the, to to that uh, to those kind of people yeah and and and, like, and, oh, and uh and uh you know like I would say maybe in the next three to six months, uh, depending uh, if if I still want to be on that lipid platform, you know, if like I, I could see myself doing the same thing on something like a podcast or IGTV or YouTube. Oh, it would blow. I, I'm sure it'd be do very well. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. what are the advantages for doing Livit at the moment? What are some of the pros and cons of Livit? Sure. Um, so, so, uh, so the, the pros is that you, you're getting paid a base salary plus commission based on the number of co baby coins you earn on the app. Uh, baby coins is like a tip, you know, people have to like you enough to tip you after you, you, you done your singing, your yeah. speaking, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so, th so that's the pro because you get it, you get, you're guaranteed getting something, right? It's yeah. not a lot. I can tell you right. I can right. I can't review how much, but I can tell you it's not a lot. <laughs> so, so oh. yeah, it's it's something, right? It's a yeah. second income. It's nice. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Like because as as because right now we are going through a very difficult time. Any yeah. source, any extra source of income, you gladly you gladly take it, right? Oh yeah, most <laughs> definitely, most definitely. Um, but I, I I wanted to encourage you as well. Um, I don't know how long you want to be on Live It, but I'm sure if you wanted to you could just create your own platform where you you get to uh, dictate you know your yeah. terms and conditions you oh, know oh absolutely i i i uh, so so the uh, so so let me finish the pros and then i'll mention the cons as well the 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 the, the other pro is that um the primary audience on on this platform is on instagram and that's good that's really good oh it's linked it, it's linked with instagram it's not linked with Instagram yet. They are working on that. That some people say they are working on it. I don't know. It's, like only, it's only a rumor. Mm -hmm. But the primary audience, the streamers, the people that follow the the uh the people that's willing to spend money on the platform, they are they have they are Instagram. So you oh. know, getting so building the follower base has some has some in, has some future value for you. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole reason why I wanted to interview you is to, uh, you know, to, to get more uh, for my fan base to get eyes on you to to grow your thing, you know, because, you yeah, know, in my, yeah, yeah. in my opinion, you should have at least 
a hundred thousand followers you know <laughs> yeah yeah i know i started instagram very late um so, yeah. so it's, it's way after american idol it's because i haven't I, because i it's not something that i thought about a whole lot like back then like there really isn't much social media so yeah. it was basically my, my uh, myspace and then my website you know so so that's where that's where that's where most people knew me from yeah and, that, and then over the years i realized okay well i do need to get on the that instagram Instagram train, you know. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm sure if you if you get on that more, because you're probably you could get certified, because there's only one William Hung in this world, and it's you. Uh, uh, yeah, but for some, I tried it. You know, it's been a struggle because, like, like I try to go ask for request for verification. They, for some whatever reason, they they don't want to give it to me yet. So whoa, yeah. that's shocking to me. Yeah. I know, so how, I know. How did you go? Did you go through someone through Facebook? I, I heard rumors. No, no, no. Because, 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 because you, you suppose the, the, the official way is you, you just, you're supposed to just go to the support team. From yeah. Instagram, uh, and then you can only do it once a month. And then what they do is they will ask for you for, for your ID. They look at, they look at everything um, that you post. They compare it to, uh, they compare you with other profiles and whatnot. And then they'll decide, you know, if we work, if they, if you're ready to get verified or not. So it is what it is, you know. I, I yeah. mean, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not freaking out over that. Um, like, like it's not, it's not worth spending, spending that much energy on that. So, yeah. uh, so let's talk about the cons for Livet. Um, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So the, so the, 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 the biggest con is that uh, the audience in U.S. is still relatively small. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, there are more pe new new people coming in, like 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 gradually. I, I do see that, but it's still a very slow process because, um, I I think the best analogy I can make is like you're trying to persuade people that's drinking Coca Cola for many years. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad, right? And yeah. then you tell them to switch to something else. Yeah, because they're used to a certain brand. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. So that so that that's difficult to do. That's what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Right, right, right. So that's the biggest disadvantage. Uh, the mm -hmm. second, the, the second uh, factor to consider is that every um, I, um, whatever you post on that platform, it needs to be exclusive within that platform for for two days, forty eight hours. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. Fair enough. It's a fair, it's a fair thing, but 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 then but there's something to consider because it's a uh, because it's a it's a it's definitely a hassle to try to extract video or you have to like do some some other third party software to record your interviews and, and stuff like that. Yeah, and then you have to f spend time reposting. You know, it, it, it ideally like like we want to get we want it, I I I hope that it'll get to the point where like you know what it is live it will be connected with Instagram in some way shape or form. Yeah, that would be ideal, right? And yeah. and th and th and then and then like 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 uh, you could just use restream to 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 post everything at the same time. Yeah. Now I just thought of this. Have you th have you thought about maybe streaming on Twitch as well? Uh, it, that's actually against the rules because the whole point exclusive, right? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you, technically, you could you could a lot of people what a lot of people has uh, a lot of people do. I I like I know they stream on this platform. They they stream on separate hours on Twitch, and that's fine. But you, you, what you can, you you cannot do is you cannot go try to cheat, you know, the system by yeah. by streaming on Livid and Twitch at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so your exclusive, uh, your contract is exclusive with Livid at the moment. You you can't. Yeah, you yeah 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 yeah. You cannot stream at the same time. You can stream on separate hours. That's yeah. fine. Like I mentioned, the biggest that's a big that's a big drawback. Uh, like like you have to like wait for forty eight hours for the content to go out elsewhere. Oh, got you, got you. Now, I mean, it's you, okay. But yeah, yeah. Um, if you choose, when you choose to 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 do your own thing, do you have all of the camera gear and editing software and all that? To... Um, I I would say I have the equipment, but but I don't have the staff right now. I feel like I'm one man army. That's that's where I'm at. I uh, feel you, man. I have one intern myself. <laughs> yeah. So when that when that opportunity comes up or when you decide to do that um um where can people contact you to to, to intern for you what do you mean i mean if you're because you said you're a one-man army i mean you pro you're most likely going to be looking for help right i would say the 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 um i already uh th thought about this in advance like the, it like w when i make 
make more money from what I'm doing. So yeah. the way I, the, so here's the thing. Another, here's another way I look at this. Okay. It's not, it's not so much that I cannot afford it. That is not it. It's more like, like if it's a big, the, the biggest mistake I learned from the past is so it's like you try to hire somebody without doing yourself first. That's a big mistake, you know. I hear you. I, I you don't yeah. have to tell me twice. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 you know, once once I get the hang of it, I know exactly what I'm looking for. The first person I need to hire is actually a video editor. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Um, I, I, I had to learn through the process as well. You know, um, that's why you know I had to teach myself. I had a my neighbor, my good friend. Uh, teach me how to use Adobe Premiere and how to do basic. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, have you thought about learning that yourself as well, as just so you know the process? Yeah, I have a pretty good idea what to do. I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, uh, like the the high end like Adobe Premiere. I mean, I know I heard of it. I've seen people do it. Yeah. But you know, like, like I could just go to QuickTime and edit the video myself. You know, yeah. I know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> And then you said you mentioned too. You have all the 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 gear, like you have a you have camera gear, you have recording equipment, and as as well, right? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, I don't have anything high end, but I have something. Yeah. I have I have something that's good enough. I mean, I I like I I I really prioritize. Here's how I look at it. I look at what I'm doing now as a second business. So so the way I approach it is I make sure I have profit first profit first it's a big deal because yeah. because what because because uh, because i feel like uh, i guess i i learned from the past that that like like i i um i have everything backwards you know you you would dump a bunch of money you invest in all these coaches you buy all these fancy equipment you're not even bringing in money it's yeah. like it's like what am i what are you doing yeah <laughs> I, hear you, I hear you now um as far as uh, these platforms are do you have your own youtube channel or what other um platforms do you have going on um i do have my youtube channel but i'm not that active on it right now i'm i'm completely focused on instagram uh and i and i and i, I have no problem with that because because um because that's another thing lesson i learned is that you can't you you want to get good at one platform first before mm -hmm. you try to um, spread yourself too thin. And I think the, the, the Instagram is a great choice, not only because that's where the audience is but for me, um, yeah. but Instagram has a big advantage where you could just reshare your posts with Facebook and Twitter. And yes. Tumblr. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, since you're on Instagram, I, can I shout out your Instagram just so people know so they can follow you? Absolutely. She it's, bangs guy. <laughs> it's the it's she bangs guy uh-huh yep and yeah. um definitely follow my man and um do you do you actually have your own uh yeah there you go she bangs guy do you have your own website as well where uh t-shirts or any kind of uh um not yet that's a work merch, in progress where people could buy not yet that's a work in progress i had merchandise many years ago but i'm not actively producing it so yeah. right now uh yeah that's that's definitely i had to figure out what my next step is because you cannot do like everything at once yeah, yeah. It's, it's something that eventually i want to get to but it's it's not like number one on my list yeah yeah um uh, what about a website a website is also something that i'm thinking about but i from what i've seen like like uh uh maybe it's a, maybe it's a trend um a, a lot of people just use linktree and it works very well very okay. very well yeah. So, so, so even like for, like for my friend, that's like an online uh, coach, health coach, like Linktree works for her, right? It works for a lot, a lot of people. So, so that like, like if, if the Linktree works, then there's no reason to invest in a very expensive website, yeah. but I still, it's still something I want to gradually work on, but it's not like, okay, I need to get it done next week. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking as far as the merchandise for you, the, the options are so wide. I mean, there's so much potential with you, man. You know? Yeah, yeah. Stickers in the past, I've done I've shirts. done like yeah, yeah. I've done t-shirts, I've done bubble head dolls, yeah, yeah. Cups, yeah. No, no, I'm just curious. This is just a this is coming from left field. Ha, has anyone gotten a tattoo of you? No. Okay. That would that would be awesome if someone did. <laughs> yeah. Now, do how do your fans even contact you? Like, do the do, do do you get contacted a lot, or do you get recognized on the street a lot? Do people recognize yeah. you? Yeah, 
Um, sometimes. I mean, it's not as crazy as before. Like, occasionally, still people would go like, "Oh my God, I knew that she bangs guy." So yeah, that's how yeah, I got that. Yeah. That's that's the first thing that comes to people's minds. So that's why my my username is intentionally she bangs guy at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then um, so so uh, so so fans have said stuff in public. Um, more so during American Idol is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but in terms of like I like I like uh people contacting me, it's very straightforward. I, I'm Instagram. I all my channels are open. You can send me direct message. You can send me email. Whatever, mm -hmm. right? But now, but, but we, uh, yeah. how do people? What's the best way to contact you? Uh, just go to Instagram. Send me a send me an email or direct message. I look at it. Yeah, that's how I that's how I reached you, man. You know. It yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it works. Yeah. Yeah, it and does. So, so let's, uh, I, I wanted to kind of wrap things up. I wanted to, uh, you know, cause uh, yeah, these are a little bit shorter, but I wanted to wrap things up as far as uh, promoting you the best way possible. Um, okay. So the best way to contact you is through she Instagram Bangs guy on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. That's correct. And then um, that, that goes with uh, features if they want uh, features on songs or, yeah. you know, collaborations, right? And as well, uh, as right, 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 gigs, right. How, what about if someone wants to book you on a public speaking gig? E email. I have I have my email there too. Can we can we can we say your email now or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he to to best reach William, it's uh here, here. William at WilliamHome dot co. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I usually either this one or this one. Yeah, so but William, either one is same. Either yeah. one is the same thing. Yeah, so William at WilliamHung.co. Yeah. Yeah. And so am I missing something? Because um oh, let's uh you wanna shout out the the live it again thing? Yeah, um so live it is like a free app. You can just download download it. Um and, and then my username on the live it platform is William Hung. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. awesome. Are we yeah. missing something? Um, I no, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, Insta. So if you go to my Instagram, um, you can you can click on my link tree. Um, that and and then I, the, my link tree, the way I set it up, it's like like it has links to my Lipid platform. It has yeah. a link to my TED Talk. It has link to to wait, other wait, things. Wait, you mentioned that, a TED Talk. Yes, TEDx Talk. Correct, TEDx. Oh, okay, so is that how do people watch that? That's on YouTube. YouTube, correct. Oh, I didn't know that. I gotta check that out tonight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you're on a TED talk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what are you open to doing? Um, other um podcasts as well. Yes, I am. I love doing podcasts. It's one of my favorite uh uh, uh ways to uh, get myself off there. <laughs> Cause my brother and her, um his girls got a pretty big one. I could holler at him. Do you want me to holler at him for you? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I don't mind. Yeah, they, they, they got a big one called Tiger Belly. I'm like a holler at him. I mean, would you be open to doing that? Yes. What is it about? Um, he, he mostly, uh, you know, interviews comedians and, and okay. you know, musicians, you know, same type sure. of thing. It's just a, it's a bigger way. It's a bigger platform than mine, obviously. Okay, I mean, sure. Yeah, sure. yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So I'll, I'll holler at him, you know, after this drops. Okay. But I, you know, y'all seen it first on the Stevie Weeby show, Okay. Y'all see nice. the first year. I man, I'm a fan. I, I just wish you the best of luck in the future. Um I want to hear uh, I want to hear more music from you in the future as well. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean you write, are you still songwriting? Are you, you no because because songwriting really isn't my talent, you know. Honestly, singing is not my talent, speaking is. So, yeah. so but but you know we'll see what happens be, be, because because you know like 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 we need to sometimes think outside the box yeah. it doesn't have to be like a traditional music album like the first in, uh, first album was a really good example inspiration i yeah. mean what made the album st stand out it wasn't because of my songs right it was because it had inspirational messages in between the songs there you go so, and then so, how would you classify yeah. the type of style of music for your uh your pop, type of music pop popular pop? music yeah yeah now what Not if there are some really um banging producers who want to work with you would you be open to do that um, I would, I would need to um, go through my record company, unfortunately. 
Oh, so they could okay it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but if, like, if, 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 so that's the thing, right? If because al- if it's like officially music album, I have to go to them, right? Yeah. But if it's something, if it's something not a music album, uh, then I don't have we don't have to go to them. So yeah. it makes it life a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who who would you want to collaborate with uh, music wise? I'm just curious. I'm just out of my own curiosity. Um, I, I'm, honestly, like, like the, the, my, I, I would say I already achieved my dream in terms of collaboration because the number one uh, person I wanted to, to sing with was Ricky Martin. And I finally did it two years ago. Where can people hear that? Um, YouTube, there's, a, there's a, like a short clip because it was a, like, like a live performance. And so people did capture that uh, and you can find it, you know, William Hung, Ricky Martin. Uh, yeah, so I performed that him. That dude's amazing, uh, man. I know, and in La- Monte Carlo, Las Vegas. I seen him in LA at a Brazilian restaurant. Really? Oh man, he had half the re- restaurant cut in half. He, he had <laughs> all of his people, you know? Yeah, it was, yeah, uh, yeah. It was off, you know, the one uh, off La Cienica. It's, it was one of the- Oh Mexican my God. Yeah, he wow. had the whole restaurant and his people <laughs> were there, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can we give him a shout out? So shout out to Ricky Martin. Yes. And so you already did it. You already fulfilled that dream. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of uh, like other collaborations, I'm pretty open. It just depends if, if it aligns with the direction I want to go. Yeah. Because because it, it because I realized that it's not so much like what exactly I'm doing, you know, but it's more like, you know, my getting closer to empowering other unsung heroes and new performers. And you are an unsung hero, my friend. It's an honor Thank to have you. you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Um, did we I, did we miss anything? I wanted to make sure we're thorough as far as uh, um, getting on. No, your, I, think, no. I, think we, I think we got, we covered Oh, your Twitter, yeah. though. Do you have a Twitter? Um, yes. It's, still, it's, it's also Shebangs guy, but I'm not that active on it. Okay. So you're mostly on Instagram. Um, and uh, the uh, Facebook will be number two because because I also do connect people with Facebook, but okay. I'm, I'm I'm relying on the Instagram to just repost on Facebook. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, William Hung as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brother, thank you so much for your time. Um, this is going to be dropping in two weeks. Um, and cool. and I will I'll keep in touch with you. Um, uh, through your Instagram, uh, she bangs guy. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. You're an inspiration to a lot of folks out there. Uh, well, one last thing you could say to inspire like the other unsung heroes out there in the world. Yeah. What advice yes. would you give them right? Give them some advice right now. Of course. Well, the most, the most important advice um, I, I can give is to um, make sure what you're doing um, matches, uh, aligns with your mission. You know, what do you want to achieve? What do you, what, how do you want to see the world different because of what you do? Uh, it is, and this is this, go, this goes not just with music, but anything outside of music as well. You know, m- music is a to me is a form of entertainment, just like any, uh, just like other forms of entertainment. Yeah. So the other thing that that will help you is uh, remember that that the whole point of entertainment is to bring smiles and happiness to the world. I love that. Well said, brother. Well said. Thank you for your time. Thanks for doing this. I was worried. I didn't think I thought maybe you you were sick or something because uh, thank God that you uh, checked your Instagram because I was, you know, I was worried about like you not showing up, but you showed up. Thank you. No, no problem. OK, thank you, William. Um, the best of luck to you and um, follow my man, William Hung, on all platforms. Support everything uh, this man does. Thank you. Th- thank you. Bye bye. Okay, OK, see you. Bye. OK. So that's it. That was, thank God. Oh my God. Cause he, he showed up a little late. My man, William Hung, support that man. That's the homie. Um, I want to give out some sh- shout outs uh, before I'm out. So uh, I do have a Patreon. If you want, if you like what I'm doing and you want to support my content, go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Okay. Uh, the newest patrons this week are my man Smuggler, Omar Del- Delgadillo, Ross Meek, and my man, Poor Boy Drip, okay? Um, I'm working on a concept album, a Stir Crazy concept album. Um, I'm four, four, four songs in, okay? I'm producing it all myself. Um, you know, I'm writing every night for it. Look out for that. The music video, we're still working on it. Um, so just stay patient, okay? Um, 
I have a website if you want to get a uh, merch, a shirt, or anything. Go to stevieweebyshow.com. Just keep in mind that um, the the shipping is a little de delayed because of COVID and the pandemic. Uh, my Instagram's Instagram slash Q U A N G O U. Okay, Kwang U. All my music's at stevieweebybandcamp.com. And uh, I'm working on a P.O. Box series, too, called Stevie's P.O. Box. If you want to send fan mail, packages, whatever you want to send, send all your stuff to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. Thanks for checking this out. Love y'all. Peace.